like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. Okay, so a music big bite, two and a half inch uh, with a one and a half gram size one hook. Very good setup, uh, very balanced for this place. I know because if I use a bigger hook or a little bit bigger be uh, weight, let's say two gram or two and a half gram, it will um, die very quickly and it will also uh, snag because uh, there is a lot of branches here and all kinds of debris but uh, basically it's a very it's a killer perch it's a killer perch uh, lure you can see there is one many perch here but uh, most of them are up lost another one will come most of them are uh, about 15 to 20 centimeter 12 to 17 centimeter size with the tube lure I also got uh, a very nice perch the other day uh, 40 centimeter about two and a half pounds big perch um, but again most of the perch that I get here are quite small, but they are plenty. So I got the fish and it snagged myself, and then I lost it again. But it's just a matter of another cast. I already caught, I believe, 50 or 60 in the last hour and a half that I'm here at least 50-60 and I use only this lure and I also use a mini tube of one and a half inch as well but this one which is two and a half inch a bit bigger I have a chance to catch the bigger fish if I put the lure in front of it another one Another fish, another perch, small one. This is small compared to what I catch here. I catch much bigger. The average size is bigger than this, I mean. I'll try to show you one. Again, the tactic is I cast it to the side because I know that in the middle there is a little bit of snag. I let it a bit sink and straight away I can feel on the drop the fish playing with the lure. Sometimes they catch themselves and I can hook them and sometimes, sometimes they don't. But almost every, every cast um, they get the lure. As I said, not always I can hook them but it's great fun. <laughs> this little guy took it straight underneath me. Straight underneath me when I brought the lure back. I saw him running into it and I basically allowed him, allowed him to take it, but I didn't have enough 
I would say enough room to set the hook. Well, this is a casting to the middle, which I know there is a snag there. So I will retrieve a little bit back to pass it towards me. And I'll start with a very small retrieve, allow it to, allow it to sink. And basically I will retrieve it very, very, I retrieve it very, very light with little twitch so it falls on bottom and because the tube action is quite is quite active every little twitch of the top of the road of the tip of the road will will uh, affect the uh, action of the of the tube and i think that what make the tube so effective for perch So we're getting good cast, let it fall a bit, not too much, I don't want it to snag, and I will start with small retrieve, and I will feel another one, I will feel when they bite, you can feel it, and you will bring them slowly, What's interesting, this is the average size, I would say. What's interesting is that when I bring the fish in, when I bring them in, um, you could see that their mouth sometimes is completely hold with like, sometimes there is no lip i mean it's all torn because it's the same fish that that got caught and i'm just amazed i don't know if anyone done the research or knows if the fish perch has any any pain memory in, ter in terms of getting caught and learn from it and eventually not running into another catch See, this is another snag that I could release myself from. That snag was basically my previous, pre previous, it's my previous uh, leader with my uh, here with my snap that i lost here in that po in that exactly in that point there here it is you can see but i got the clip i didn't get the lure but again these lures are i have plenty of them so i will just won't bother um these lures uh the zoom or the big buy the tubes fairly cheap you can buy 10 in two three pounds so you can use them for a long time it's not a big deal when it's the the expensive mino another one when there is the expensive minos uh, that you pay sometimes up to 10 pounds or even more then it's a bit problematic to lose them um, there is a bit there is a bit a better fish here that I caught now, that you can see much better, but still, there are bigger perch here, but again, it's always more difficult to catch them. This one took the, the bait, inhaled it completely, very, very deep. I think I need uh, to use the plier. Take the plier. There's a 
another one coming slowly I hope not to lose him Tiny perch, in this place I caught nice bream, nice roach and plenty of perch. What interesting is that I've been here many times, I caught a lot of fish, there's no pikes here and if they are, so they are retired, never had a pike bite ever here and I fish here quite a lot they love the tube you have to try if you go perching you have to try tube you just need the right the right the right balance of the tube and the depth of the place you fish the current if there is current and therefore you're going to use the right hook better slow always better slow fall because it's attracting more the fish rather than the rather than um, the the immediate quick uh, fall with the heavy with the heavy jig hook. But what also important is that the hook will, when you insert the hook and you lubricant will be the jig head, the point of the hook should sit at the end of the tube, at the beginning of where the uh, the little testicle of the uh, of the tube is sometimes I catch like I catch like like now I catch them and they get snagged another one as you see it's every cast every cast every cast another one they just emmer it Sometimes even I just just touch the, just touch the water and I feel the the bite and they already I just set the hook and they're already on. Like now, just just the, just touch the water and already I already been in. And again, it's like a so shoal of uh, perch that. Uh, If I would go to the other side of the bridge, which I fished there sometimes, because I didn't go there lately because the access is a bit difficult, a lot of uh, uh, vegetation uh, grew there. So I go this side. I actually prefer the other side. Which is again the area where the snug is. Another one. Even if I got snug and I release myself, still, they are there so active. It's unbelievable how active they are. It's basically every cast. I can say 90, at least 90% of the cast have a fish. Again, when I, when I catch them here close and I don't have enough uh, line to, to set to them, then I tend to lose them more. Uh, 
he got, I got the fish, but he got snagged. Yeah. This one, this is one of the casks that came naked. But not for long, believe me, not for long. There will be another one that will come naked now. We start to get into big doubts. Again, I lost it. There is another one, I lost it. Yeah. So, two casts came empty. For the challenge, there is a big, there is a better one now, a little better, but no, he left it. He left it. He left the, he dropped the hook. Yes, my hook got a little bit bent. If you can see, it got bent from from the snags. I don't know if you can see that. So that's why I missed the bites. What I'll do. I'll take something hard like this wall here next to me and I'll try to straighten it. I pushed it a little bit inside using my phone I left my GoPro at home so I pushed it a little, ins a little bit inside now the hook up is a bit smaller but I think it will provide better better hooks. But so there is still a lot of there is a guy and I can already tell you that the hook set is better. Just because the hook was pointed up too much. And the angle was um, more than 90 degree with the bend of the hook that already cost a few fish there's another guy uh -huh. lost it no, still on, still on I thought I lost it, but it's still on This little guy managed to snag me twice. But again, didn't lose him, landed him, and I'll check again the hook. By the way, it's very important to sharpen the hook. Most of us don't think it's a big deal, but it will make a difference, especially when you catch so many fish and also when um, I fish you under a bridge and sometimes with my cast I'm hitting the wall or the ceiling and obviously if the hook point uh, banged into something hard like that it will it will ruin the hook point and it won't be sharp enough so Obviously, that's something that you also need to look into. There is a nice one, but again, it was close by, and I managed to lose him because the hook set wasn't strong enough. Another small guy. Let's 
small guy. But it's all fun. I mean, you come here for a couple of hours, you catch plenty of fish. And it's great. You try different lures. You see what's work better, what's work less. What are the little changing that you need to do in order to uh, maximize the um, hooking rate. It's great fun. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe to my uh, Castanet uh, fishing channel and see you next time.